stipend during medical course. If you are selected by state government or central government through CET or in autonomous institution like RNA Institute of Medical Science or JIPMA, you will be paid stipend during the house surgency or internship and during post graduation and during specialized, super specialization. During internship or house surgency, the stipend is in the range of 20 to 30,000 per month for one year. During post graduation and super specialization, it's in the range of 25,000 to 40,000 per month for all three years of your study. So the bottom line is, if you are selected through CET, either state government or central government or in autonomous institutions, house surgency onwards, you are going to be self-sufficient financially. But if you are selected in any other way, such as Comet K, deemed university, donation, no stipend will be paid to you. Now let us look at the important aspect. From, your, from now, your aspiration, I am to start a medical career. Dear friends, it is very important from your point of view, the duration requir required for you to start your medical career. Starting your medical career does not mean obtaining an MBBS, MDMS or DM or MCH degrees. But it is coming out of the institution, after finishing your studies, gaining experience and stepping into this world as doctor to pursue your career dealing directly with the patients without the support of your seniors all by yourself. I am talking about that duration from your aspiration now. Let us look at the time required from your aspiration now and to start medical career. If you start, if you want to start a medical career at MBPS level, it may take about 7 to 8 years. From now, from, from your aspiration now and to start a medical career as a specialist doctor, which is almost mandatory, approximately it may take about 10 to 12 years from the date of joining MBBS. To become a super specialist doctor, it may take about 12 to 14 years from the time of joining MBBS. Both students and their parents should be mentally prepared for this time frame. What are the qualities you require to become a good doctor? This assessment of good doctor whether you are a general practitioner or a specialist or a super specialist should come from the patient's point of view. Ultimately, their judgment matters the most which brings fame, popularity, money and professional satisfaction. Don't ever think that your academic excellence only make you a good doctor. You require many other qualities to become a good doctor. What are those qualities? First and foremost, you should be a good listener. You should make a habit to listen to patients' problems with patients. Your approach should be soothing and comforting to the patients. It should not be repulsive. We treat human beings who come to us with pain and suffering. Honesty. Once patients realize that you are very honest in your approach, do not exploit their situations, they develop tremendous faith in you. Good communication skills is a huge plus point. Those who have it naturally make it big quite easily. Those who do not have it learn from others and develop that skill. Academic skill. You should be good in your subject of speciality to deliver what is expected of you. All these qualities combined can make you a good doctor. Medical colleges teach you only academic skills. Other qualities are not taught 
but you should learn on your own by observing successful doctors and in imbibe those qualities in you. For so for that you should always keep an open mind and keep observing successful people. You will understand why they are successful.